Importing your stock on hand is one of the most important steps to work on before going live. The accuracy of this import will ensure your account is off to the right start. There are a few steps you have to complete before importing your stock on hand. First of all, make sure you have completed the setup, training, workflow maps and other implementation tasks. The stock on hand import should be one of the last tasks before going live. Ensure your products are set up correctly batched and serialized if needed. Also, make sure you know your average landed cost. Please remember that the average landed cost will be used and unleashed for calculating margins, so please do not use zero values. And more important, make sure a stock take is done accurately and all your stock is accounted for. Remember, these are the quantities going live, so it's pretty important to make sure numbers are accurate. If you are halfway through a manufacturing process, we should count the components, as we only count final products once they are ready to be sold. If that's the case, an assembly should be created once your goods are ready. Be certain that your stock take is 100% accurate, and that you have taken under consideration all your products, especially those that might not be in its normal bin location. For example, those ready to be packed, dispatched, and etc. Keep it in mind that you can only import stock on hand once per product and warehouse. If it's easier to manage, you can split the work into an import per warehouse. When you're ready, we recommend you to use the same box environment for your first attempt. And if everything goes according to plan, you can progress to the next stage and import your stock on hand into your life account. But please, try on your sandbox first. You can download the import stock on hand template by clicking Inventory, Product, Import and export and click Download Stock on Hand Template File. Populate the template with the relevant information. To save your time and preventing mistakes, you could export your product list from Unleashed and copy and paste the product code into the Stock on Hand template. Enter the warehouse code Stock on Hand Average Landing Cost. You will need to enter the serial, batch number, and expiry date if those fields are active for the product you are importing. Otherwise, you can simply focus on importing your stock on hand for now and import your serial and batch numbers later. Once you're ready, save it as a CSV file and drag and drop back into Unleashed. A message confirming the import will appear and you will receive an email as well. You can use the stock on hand report to check stock accuracy. Once you are confident your important numbers are accurate, you can proceed in importing to your life account. Remember that the stock on hand import will not send a journal into your accounting software, as your stock on hand value in Unleashed in your accounting software should match, otherwise contact your accountant. If later you notice any small stock difference, you can correct the variance by making a stock adjustment or importing a stock revaluation. But be aware, these transactions will be sent to your account system, so make sure you use them correctly. Once you have the stock on hand in your account, you will need to enter in any open transaction, for example, any sales that might not have been displayed before the account. Thanks for watching.